Hi guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So it is 5 o'clock and I'm just now starting my vlog because I've literally been cleaning the house all day long because I'm just afraid the baby's gonna come and she's gonna come home to a mess. So I didn't just clean the house from top to bottom. I also organized her nursery to prep for the nursery tour video that Doug and I are going to shoot this weekend, hopefully. Um, so I just put on makeup also and I just did it in the dark. So I'm realizing my blush is a little strong. So whatever. Um, so yeah, I didn't vlog all day because I looked ratchet and I was cleaning. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I get in these really crazy cleaning modes and I'll be super um, obsessive compulsive about what I'm cleaning so I started to wipe down the kitchen countertops like usual and then I was like the grout is so disgusting I haven't cleaned the grout since we moved in so I started to like scrub and then I got a brush and I started scrubbing all the grout cleaning all the stuff so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Doug notices how clean the grout is I for sure know he's not going to notice but yeah that's what I've been doing for the past 40 minutes because I'm crazy. Also, um, tonight Doug's making curry. He doesn't know it yet, but he's gonna make it. And I prepped the kitchen for him like a nice little wife. So I got all the ingredients out for him, ready to chop up. I've already made the rice because that takes forever and I know he'll be starving. And I'm honestly not good at making it, although it's so easy. We don't even make the curry homemade. We freaking use a packet, but I'll show you guys which one we use. It's so bomb. You have to try it if you like curry or if you like Japanese curry. So I kind of wanted to just chat with you guys. My hair is all over the place. Um, so basically I get a lot of emails, like direct emails especially, from people who are wondering how to make money online and I thought I would just address it in a vlog since um, I get so many emails and I can't respond to all of them because it just takes a lot more than a few sentences for me to explain um, and ever since I mentioned how I don't do blogging completely full-time not yet hopefully in the near future I can make um, a full-time income just from YouTube and ads and blogging but up until now I've been sustaining my income with a bunch of other stuff not a bunch but it's definitely been a journey and I thought I would walk you guys through it um, okay so I kind of made notes for me to refer to because yeah so anyways I got a degree in finance like you guys know from Cal State Fullerton and I got a full-time job right after I graduated well a few months after I graduated and I realized that I can't stand this is gonna sound very catty I guess um, but I realized when I was working slaving away full-time that I couldn't stand working for someone else and I was really good at working for other people um, it's not like I didn't get along with people or anything like that so you guys could probably tell I get along with a lot of people I just didn't find the motivation inside me to do the best I could possibly do for another company so and that was because I was blogging already and I saw the money coming in for my blog so I was more motivated to make money for myself than I was for someone else if that makes sense so basically while I was working full-time I made it a goal to myself that if I could sustain um, the income I was making from my full-time job with a side job which is very difficult that I would quit my full-time job so yeah basically that didn't happen so I didn't make like a full salary on the side and my full-time job but Doug and I realized that I don't know in order for me to make a full income from doing a freelance work on the side and my blog I would have to quit my full-time job so it was actually him that told me to quit and he supported me for the first few months because it is hard to make a full-time living working for yourself the first few months or even the first year so basically he encouraged me to quit and I quit my job it was really scary but after a while I started making money here and there and I was seriously so motivated to make my own money that I was applying for random stuff on Craigslist. Um, now all of this stuff, I say it's random, but it does have to pertain to blogging and online marketing since that's where my expertise kind of came from with blogging. So at first I was a social media project manager for a skin, like an online skincare company. And I did that for probably like seven or eight months um, and that wasn't completely full-time but it was almost full-time and then so yeah I was doing that which is kind of like freelance work but I worked for someone else and it was like a contract position um, and I got to work from home so I liked that and it gave me more time to dedicate to YouTube and blogging so I did that for a while 
and then stuff started to just come my way I don't know what happened but ever since I quit my full-time job like the regular corporate life job things like the universe just opened up to me and opportunities came my way um, and obviously when you put yourself on the internet a lot of people see you and you never know who's gonna come across your work or who might like you or who might want to work with you so when I was working for the skincare company um, I basically got an opportunity to write for different publications so writing is actually a really good way to make money online if you are a decent writer you don't even have to be the best I didn't go to school for writing or anything like that but I am a blogger so they kind of go hand in hand um, also I do have a creative eye which brands look for so this is so random but someone approached me to write for their malls blog so like certain malls have blogs I didn't know this but I found out at the time and I wrote for them um, a few different articles a week and everything added up so doing that with the um, social media for like the online skincare company plus all of the revenue I was getting for my blog and YouTube at the time it started to add up really rapidly and after a while I was basically able to make an income from it that wasn't just part-time um, it was creeping its way up to what I was making at my full-time job so anyways I get a lot of questions from either like stay-at-home moms or women that just want to quit their job and my biggest advice to you is keep working at your full-time job and just hustle on the side it's gonna be really draining you're gonna be tired but it's gonna be worth it and you're gonna want some kind of stability to go to after you quit luckily I had Doug to lean on since I mean, I don't even think we were married. Yeah, we were engaged, but luckily I did have him to lean on. And if I didn't have him, I probably would have waited like six to eight more months to quit um, and start doing things on my own. But honestly, just being motivated to work for yourself and make your own money and scratch and claw your way towards every opportunity that comes your way, it really does help um, when you are working a full-time job. You have to be really motivated to make it. I know that sounds really preachy and annoying, but... A lot of people don't have like they don't have the motivation or drive to make money on the side and work full time which I totally get but yeah so that's kind of what happened and after a while I basically was able to quit most of the side jobs and make a full-time income from blogging and YouTube and now I do that a bunch of different ways um, I kind of talked about it in like my blogging series but you make money through ads you make money through sponsorships which is like the biggest revenue stream um, YouTube Adsense is kind of like eh, you don't really make that much money through YouTube Adsense so putting up your videos on YouTube it's really through sponsorships and affiliate networks and things like that um, I kind of want to do a series on YouTube like how to make money as a youtuber but I don't feel like I'm qualified enough like I don't have that many I'm just not big enough for that so maybe once I hit like I don't know 50,000 subscribers I'll feel better about doing the series for now I'm probably just gonna put that off so yeah I hope that answers most of your guys's questions um, I looked for all of my freelance work through Craigslist mainly and obviously you have to beef up your LinkedIn if you live in the US actually I think that I think LinkedIn's in the UK too I'm not sure um, but yeah so you have to beef up your portfolio and luckily since I was a blogger I could use my blog as like a resume source plus obviously my regular resume so yeah just apply like crazy and don't be afraid to apply for things that you think you're not qualified for because you never know especially in the freelance market so Doug's co-workers got us the cutest little thing for our baby it's from Janie and Jack how cute it's a little onesie and the size always kind of confuses me because they say zero to three but this does not look like a newborn size this thing looks like a chunky baby but I love the Peter Pan collar did you see that Doug and then also a little velvet bow so cute so Doug's over here working on his curry just a lot of prep work right now he came home early because they had fine wine Friday yeah. at work with ugly Christmas sweaters apparently do you um, like that I got I everything know. ready I for do. you I do. How do I and the rice this? is done the rice is already done yeah oh, shit. <laughs> walk us through what you do to make curry because they want to know okay so it's not homemade. No, the sauce is definitely not homemade. Here, it let me get the package. Curry. Oh, here it is. You got to get this from your grocery store. Yep. Hopefully it honestly it. tastes like the stuff we had in Tokyo. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, and we get the mild kind, I think. No, that's medium. Medium? Yeah. I would like to try the hot kind, but Doug can't do it. not really that hot. Medium um, yeah, it's like mild. Yeah. Because um, they also have hot and extra hot, so... Mm -hmm. So what you got to do is you got to chop up your veggies. In here we have onion, carrots, 
Um, just that. No, onion, carrots, and potatoes. Yeah, that's usually what's in curry, right? Yep, you have meat that you want to use, usually a lean meat. Usually you don't want anything too fatty because it's going to it's gonna basically boil. Is what yeah, so we used so, some kind of steak. It was just like a lean chuck. Chop up all your veggies beforehand, chop up your meat, season your meat. I use uh, pepper, salt, and brown sugar on my meat. Yeah, that's like so the you Japanese just throw way. Some brown sugar on there, and then you have to actually brown the meat first in the big pot. I didn't know this. So you brown the meat. <laughs> and some he just oil. makes it. Yeah. So you put some oil in, and then you heat it up. You brown the meat. You put the you put the veggies in. So I put in the onions, mm -hmm. and you mix all that around, and you add the carrots and potatoes, and you mix all that around, and then you have to add in your water. And so your you cubes. Throw your, so you throw your water in. Well, first you put in the water, and then you make it. Then you let it boil. Mm -hmm. And then after it boils for about 15 minutes, or the meat gets like nice and tender, mm -hmm. then you add your cubes in. Yeah, I, I'm glad constantly. I didn't make this. Do you notice how clean the kitchen is? Yes, I already thanked you for. Yeah, but everything. do you notice anything in particular about the kitchen being clean? I scrubbed the grout. Oh, you did? Yeah. Look at that beauty. I mean, it's not even that. Trust me, it's way better than before. So this is what the curry looks like when it's done. Yum. Doug just told me that he forgot to tell you guys two things about the curry. Well. You don't need two these. two things that I added. Yeah, what is it? Uh, chopped garlic. Uh-huh. Like two cloves of chopped garlic into mm -hmm. it. And then mirin which is like a Japanese sweet sauce, oh. sweet cooking sauce. Doug's going outside to work on his car. Yep. He apparently needs to stick his finger in something, test to see if there's oil. And it's he... not just me. Get that. What? What is that? A finger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I know. I'm not just joking around about sticking my finger in something. <laughs> you literally, that's the test. He has his... Nissan 240SX manual, yeah, which is not that car, by the way. No. That's an Ultima. <laughs> but they're just very similar. You know, all these boxes have to go out to the trash. That's Doug's one job. I'll do everything else as long as I don't have to take the trash out. Yeah, well, I'm going to take the trash out. And then... Well, you, you can do these tomorrow. Yeah, because it's a lot of boxes. Oh, I know. It's sad times. And you gotta break them all down. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> so Doug's outside working on his car and I thought I would do like a little pamper night. So I want to fake tan, redo my janky nails, and probably do like a face mask or something. But I wanted to tell you guys two new products. Um, so I just mentioned these I think a few days ago in Vlogmas. But I've tried them out for the past, I think like two or three days and I'm obsessed already. So the first one I want to tell you guys about is for oily skin. Well, all my products are geared towards oily skin, uh, but this is the Nip and Fab Smooth Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix. Um, it looks like this. And I believe Nip and Fab is like a pretty affordable brand, but it basically says that you should apply to skin from the center of the face outwards, paying particular attention to the T-zone and allow to absorb before applying like foundation or makeup. Today's not a very good demonstration of the product because I seriously just slapped makeup on right before I started filming my Vlogmas. Um, but I used it for the past two days and I haven't had a touch up at all and it just seriously sucks up all my oil and it's so good. So I'm gonna put it on tomorrow and I'll maybe like do like a updates throughout the day so you guys could see what I'm talking about but that is so good I would highly recommend you guys get it this one uh, is my new like cleanser obsession this is the juice beauty blemish clearing cleanser and it's organic so I like that um, and I'm also actually I don't know why I put that over there now I'm like in my shower um, I also like their green apple peel blemish clearing so yeah I'm excited to use these tonight and I really like the cleanser because it just like I don't know, it took away all of my bumps and I'm still kind of recovering from texture on my cheeks, but this really has helped dry it up. And right now I'm just gonna put on my Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark with a mitt and then work on my nails because dear God. So if I look really discolored, it's because I am. I just baked tan my face and it turns out really dark at night. It looks scary. I just realized I forgot my hands, so I gotta do that. But I want to see the comment of the day, even though I look scary. This one's funny, Doug. I'm not vlogging Doug because he's inappropriately dressed. Um, but this is from Christina Valener. Let me try. Christina Valerani Noblich. 
Noblish. Okay, Noblish? give me the phone. <laughs> she says, I seriously cannot wait for you to go into labor, LOL. When you do, better look at Doug in the eyes and tell him to focus and get the vlog camera out. <laughs> We've all gone through this pregnancy with you and you need full, the full, ex we need the full experience. You got that, Doug? LOL. Trust me, I already told him that he better just yeah. stay focused. Actually, I'm probably gonna have my mom do it, although she cannot be trusted, so you better watch her. Yeah, She's gonna be way too excited. I asked my delivery doctor, I was like, can I video? And he said yes. So yeah, I got that. So, oh, and also a bunch of people like cheesy Doritos, nacho Doritos. Nacho cheese? Someone says they put, uh, I think it was like Tapatio on it or something. I can't stand to look at myself anymore because I look so discolored. So I'm going to end this vlog. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up below. Hopefully tomorrow I won't be as discolored. Who's that girl? The girl that said that you look like this girl? No, I know, but who's Lacey Chobert? I don't know, she's an actress. You guys are always telling me I look like girls with middle parts. <laughs> Every time I have a middle part. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm um, getting my eyelashes done tomorrow because, dear God, they need it. Um, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys!